Hi friends, welcome back to Sin TV, where we talk cannabis re-education. And today we're talking cannabis for sleep. Now insomnia is one of the most common ailments that people treat with cannabis. And here's everything that you need to know. Okay, first, cannabis smells. There are certain smells that are calming, soothing, right? Like lavender, chamomile. That's why everyone out here is like, Essential oils that people use for things like yoga and meditation contain smell compounds called terpenes. And you know what else has terpenes? That's right! In fact, the terpenes that cause cannabis to smell are an integral part of the cannabis experience, especially if you're using cannabis for sleep. Terpenes will be most relevant when you're buying cannabis flower or vapes. Ask your bud tender for strains that contain terpenes like these ones. Terpenes that are known to soothe and calm. Remember that everyone is different, so you'll need to do some experimentation to find which strain is the right one for you. But if cannabis inhalation is not your thing, then luckily for you, you've got options. Cannabis products for sleep, there are tons out there. Flowers, capsules, edibles, topicals, you name it. And when it comes to sleep, there is one special ingredient that is taking over California cannabis shelves. No, but really, CBN is becoming more and more popular and available in a variety of ingestion methods. Now you may have heard of THC or CBD, but CBN is primarily known as a potent sleep aid. In fact, if you've ever smoked old weed that you found in your drawer and just felt drowsy or passed out, it's most likely because your cannabis contains CBN. When cannabis degrades due to heat, light, time, the THC chemically converts into CBN, the sleepy cannabinoid. According to a Steep Hill Lab study, five milligrams of CBN has the same amount of sedation as 10 milligrams of a pharmaceutical level sedative, like Valium. Now, when you look at the label of your cannabis sleep products, you'll find that there's different combinations of cannabinoids. Each has varying levels of CBN, THC, and others, and these are known as cannabinoid ratios. There is no definitive research on which of these ratios is the most effective for sleep, and generally there is no 100% surefire cannabinoid ratio. Just like nutrition and fitness and just about anything else in your life that keeps you healthy, you're going to need to experiment and do some testing to find what the right thing is for you. Read the ingredient list to find the cannabinoid ratios in your product and be sure to read the other ingredients too. Maybe there are other sleep-inducing ingredients in your product like terpenes or lavender or melatonin. Or maybe you want to consider your dietary guidelines when choosing your product as well, like keeping your edible sugar-free or vegan. You can find CBN in a variety of form factors in the recreational market, so be sure to consider your preferences as you choose the right CBN product for you. I've been testing these out myself and I'm so impressed with the variety. Tea, honey, creams, capsules, there's everything under the sun, so keep an open mind as you're testing these out because there really are a great variety of products. So there you have it. Thanks so much for joining us for this review of Cannabis for Sleep and join us next time here on Sin TV. Bye.